So now I'm going back to America. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey guys, welcome to Jay Kim's channel. It's your guest, Monet Babazade. Wow. Persian American. Oh. Thank you. Living in Seoul currently. I just moved here one month ago. Wow. And he's going to interview me and ask me some questions. So stay tuned. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Jay Kim and here is Monet Babazade. Um, I am an Iranian American born and raised in California, US of A. And I just recently moved to Seoul. Um, and I'm just basically starting the next chapter of my life out here. Yeah. I'm really excited to be here. I'm excited to meet you. Thank you. Big fan of Jay Kim. <laughs> Why did you come to Korea? Actually, I just moved to Korea just to be friends with Jay Kim, that's it. And yeah. I was like, oh, I really want to be in his YouTube video. Uh -huh. And here I am. Yeah, dreams come true. Dreams come yeah. true. So now I'm going back to America. <laughs> <laughs> I am out of here. Goodbye. Bye bye. I came to Korea because mm -hmm. I wanted a change in my life. Given the fact that I've lived in America for 27 years, mm -hmm. I've always been attracted to Asian culture and I've wanted to live abroad. Mm -hmm. And so as far as opportunities go, I feel like Korea has the best opportunities for foreigners. So I'm currently out here living the best life that I can. Yeah, Korea is pretty awesome. I really like it here. As I told you, she's a Persian American. Your parents are Iranian from Iran. Uh -huh. um, my mom mom is from Tehran, which is her family is from like the capital of Iran. Mm -hmm. And then my father is from Mashhad, which is more of the holy city. I guess half Tehrani and half Mashadi. Oh. Why did they move to America? My father moved to America from Iran because he didn't want to, I believe, serve in the military. Um, ah. Avoid military and then they come, try to come to America for, you know, opportunities at the land of the free. Have you ever been to Iran before? Yes, I've been to Iran uh, three no. times. Yeah. I enjoy it. I really like Iran. Went there was when I was 15 years old, so it's been a while. Iran's just like, I think, any other city. So if you go to Tehran, it's mm. kind of like Seoul. Do you think Korean culture and Persian culture are similar? Yeah, that was as far as my deciding factor in choosing the specific Asian culture that I wanted mm. to live abroad. I chose Korean culture because it reminded me a lot of the Persian culture as far as respect for one another, um, the family unity, especially in the dating culture as well. Men and women, they're very respectful and reserved. And that's something I'm very familiar with growing up in my family. And, you know, the strong unity, the family unity yeah, in right, Korea. Yeah, great. That's the same with our family. Mm. My family is very strong, very close. Muslim. Yeah, your family is Muslim, so I'm curious about that. Uh, is there really discrimination against Muslim in America and especially against Iranians? Iranians? Definitely. I think, mm -hmm. especially now that Trump's in office, mm -hmm. the hate crime towards the Muslims and mm -hmm. the fear towards Muslim has increased substantially. I wouldn't tell people, I think, in America or especially strangers that my family is Muslim because of their fear and their prejudice towards them. Um, and then Iran, I feel like, has been brought to more of a negative light. It's, it's uh, intimidating mm -hmm. to say you come from a Muslim family mm -hmm. in America. I definitely keep that more down low, hush hush, mm -hmm. <laughs> because um, a lot of people, they're afraid. Or mm. They categorize them as terrorists. Mm. Um, so, yeah, for my family's safety sometimes and for my safety, if I don't know, I, I won't let people know much mm. about my background or my family mm. in America. Are you proud of that you're Persian blood? And what do you think about your identity, like American or... Persian. I'm very proud that I'm Persian. I love being Persian. Oh. Persians was a huge empire yeah. and what's kind of left of Persian now is Iran. Persians were the first Aryan race. So yeah, I have pride. I love the culture and where I'm from. I'm, my identity is American, but my family, mm. you know, they're all Iranian Persian. So I'm Persian American. We're very loving. We have a lot of respect towards one another. We're not terrorists mm, yeah. at all. Yeah, at all, yeah. I think every race, every religion has their extreme extremists mm. and their own kind of terrorism. Unfortunately, the Muslims and the Iranians just have more focus on them. Mm. So it's a shame right now, but mm. I hope in the future we'll have more of a positive light mm. because the Muslims, there's a lot of great people. My family, 
They're Muslims and they're really open, loving, mm-hmm. unconditional love to everyone. Myself being raised by a Muslim family, I'm proud of that. Persian. I'm very proud that I'm Persian. <laughs> I'm Persian like the cats. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Persian cats. <laughs> So you grew up in Islamic family. Did your Islamic family influence your life and where you were raised? I think I'm a very conservative, um, reserved, and very respectful woman, especially when it comes to men. Um, I like to be, um, I have certain boundaries in the dating life. Um, For example, if they see my image, you know, I am not Mm. covered up, you know, I'm not as conservative. But my actions and my personality are very, very similar to my Islamic Islamic family, mm-hmm. dating, friendship, mm-hmm. life, work ethics, family mm-hmm. traditions. Uh, Islamic family has mm-hmm. influenced my life for the better. I think yeah. it's the reason I am the way I am today, being mm-hmm. respected by many people. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of respect. I'm proud of that. I'm proud mm-hmm. to come from a. Yeah. So, shout out to my family back in America. So it's last question. What message can you share to people who are prejudiced by someone's religion or nationality? Um, I guess the message I can share is people need to have more of an open mind. If you are prejudiced or you are intimidated by Middle Easters or Islamic people is um, to be more empathetic. There's a lot of good people out there and being empathetic, it'll help you understand how they feel, how they act. Yeah, right. Everyone should be a little more empathetic today. Yeah, that's really important to understand other uh, yeah. people's feelings because yeah. if you can be empathetic and you can see, mm. then you'll have a better understanding and mm. you won't be as fearful fearful or scare or as prejudiced because you'll realize yeah, right. you know we're all the same we're all trying to be good people be non-judgmental be more empathetic and mm. love yeah right? love love finish yay make sure to like comment and subscribe <laughs> so thank you and be safe and take care of yourself and i will come back with new content so bye 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 testing testing Testing. One, two, three, Korean.